project today, we are going to be using Bernat Maker Home Deck Yarn, which is a weight 5. We'll need a 6mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and then also a tape measure. So to start this off, you're going to need to know how big the tree is that you're making this for. My tree is only going to be about two feet, and the rule of thumb that I just looked up online is it's going to be nine feet of garland for every one foot of tree. So that means I would be making 18 feet of garland, but today I'm only going to be demonstrating with just nine feet for time's sake. But if you're trying to make this for a full size seven foot tree, for example, the rule of thumb would be 63 feet of garland. So just keep that in mind. So to get it started, we're just going to make a slip knot. Pull some more yarn out and then insert your hook into the slip knot. Okay, and we're going to be making a foundation chain that is going to measure out however long you want your garland to be. I'm just going to do nine feet, again, for demonstration purposes. So I am just going to start chaining up. Okay, and to make a chain, all you're gonna do is yarn over, okay? And then you just pull that yarn through the loop that's on your hook, okay? And I'm just going to continue doing this until I reach nine feet. So I will come back once I'm done and we will show you how to start the first round. Okay, so we are back. It's just, there we go. And now it took me 510 chains to finally reach nine feet of foundation chain, which is a lot. So if you're making this for a full size tree, just be prepared. So now what I'm going to do to get started is we are going to hold on to that very last stitch that we just made, that very last chain, and then we are going to chain up three more. So one, two, and three. Okay? And then that fourth chain, which is the one we are already holding on to, we're going to make a slip stitch into that fourth chain. All right? Just go through the very top loop, then we're going to yarn over and pull through and also pull through the loop already on your hook. Okay, and that's just gonna make a little opening at the very end of our garland in case you wanna hang it on a branch or a hook. So now we're making a pattern where we slip stitch into the next five stitches, then create a little pom-pom or popcorn if you wanna call it that, then slip stitch into five more stitches and then continue with the pom-pom, so on and so forth. So we are not going to go into that, or that very first slip stitch does not count um, as our first slip stitch. The second one that I'm going into right now is going to count as your first slip stitch. So that will be one, okay? Insert into the top loop only, yarn over and pull through both, and that will be two. This will be three, four, and now we are at five. So once we hit five, we are going to start making our little pom-pom, okay? And what I'm gonna do, just get that started, is we're going to chain up three. And now what I'm gonna do is kind of turn it to the side so that we see the little back ridges here. We're gonna wanna go into that third back ridge right here. And what we're going to do is yarn over, insert our hook into just that back ridge, maybe. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through. And then we are only going to pull through the first two loops on our hook. Okay, so yarn over, pull through those two. And now we still have two loops left on our hook. So now we are going to go back and yarn over and insert into that very same loop, okay? And then yarn over again, and then yarn over and pull through only those first two again. Okay, so now we have three loops on our hook, so we will do this one more time. We'll yarn over, insert into that same loop. Okay, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through only the first two. 
And now we are going to have four loops on our hook. So we're just gonna to wanna to yarn over and pull through all four of those. And now we have just completed one cluster stitch. So what we're gonna do now is chain up three more from there, okay? All right, and this will be a little bit easier to see. So we're gonna make another cluster stitch into this stitch right here, this little loop. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook through that loop right there. You can see the little space. Then yarn over, pull through. And then yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook, okay? All right. Then we're gonna repeat, yarn over, insert into that same loop. All right, first two loops yet again, yarn over and pull through those first two. Oops. And then we have three loops on our hook, which means we're going to do this one more time. So yarn over, insert into the same loop. Okay, yarn over, pull through your first two. And now we have four loops on our hook, which means we're gonna yarn over and pull through all four. All right, and now what we are going to do is we're going to want to fold these over, these two cluster stitches over to make our little pom-pom. And to do that, you see this first little loop we have to make, we have that made the first cluster. <laughs> so what we're going to do is insert our hook into that space right there, as we can see. Okay, and we're gonna make a slip stitch. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on our hook as well. All right, and there's our first pom-pom. This is what it is going to start looking like. And now what we're going to do is continue the pattern by making five more slip stitches. So we're gonna to wanna to go into that very next stitch right here. Again, only going through that top loop. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. Okay, so I'm going to continue making five right now. So now we are on the fifth slip stitch. So we're going to start our second pom-pom right now. All right, and to do that, we're going to do the exact same thing as we did on the last one. So we're gonna chain up three. I'm gonna go a bit faster on this one. All right, so again, we're going into that back ridge, that third back ridge right here. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook, then yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the first two loops on your hook. Oops, there we go. Okay, let's do that again. Yarn over, go through the same loop, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the first two. All right, we've got three on there, which means we need to do this one more time. Okay, and now we have the four loops on our hook, which means we yarn over and pull through all four. Then we're gonna chain up three again, and we are going to create our second cluster stitch. Okay, going through that very first loop right here. Gonna yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Again, pull through the first two. And then I'll just let you watch the rest of this. Okay, and now to finish it off, we're going to be slip stitching into that loop from our first cluster stitch. So just insert your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. All right, there is the second pom-pom. Starting to come along now. So I'm just going to slip stitch into these next five again. 
just to kind of complete this little pattern right here. Remember, we're only going through those top loops. Okay, and this is what it's going to start looking like. So you are just going to continue this pattern all the way down, slip stitch into five chains, then make a pom-pom, slip stitch into the next five chains, and so on. So I'll meet you all back at the end to show you how to finish this up. Okay everyone, we are back at the end now, and I am just going to show you how to do the last little pom-pom here. So I'm just going to slip stitch into the next five uh, chains like we've been doing. This is a very repetitive, very easy pattern, honestly. It's really good to watch some movies while doing this. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna chain up three. And then you're gonna to wanna to yarn over and insert your hook into that third back ridge and start making your first cluster stitch. Okay, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Chain up your three and continue on with that second cluster stitch. Again, it's gonna be exactly the same every time. There's no change in how to make these pom-poms. Okay, and now we're just going to slip stitch into that first loop right there, just like we've been doing. Okay, and there's our last pom-pom. Now, I only ended with three chains left, which is fine. I'm just going to slip stitch into those last three chains. Okay, and then to make a little space at the end for hanging, all I'm going to do is chain up three. And then I'm inserting into this space right here, which is pretty much just under the bottom loop of that, of that like very last chain. Okay? And so we're just going to make a slip stitch with that. All right, and then there's our little space, okay? So to finish this all up, we're just going to chain one and then cut. Okay, and then we're just going to pull through and tighten. All right, guys, there we have it. Here are our two little ends right here. They look slightly different, but barely. Um, so anyways, we're all finished with our cute little rustic farmhouse popcorn garland. This project is great for your Christmas trees, but it can also easily be modified to fit a mantle or a table as well. All you need to do is just change the amount of chains that you create at the beginning. And anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more free crochet tutorials. If you'd like to see the written pattern for this, just head on down to the description box below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.